Hi, this is Teresa Momber, and here's a look at the card I'll show you how to create in today's video. Begin by trimming white cardstock to 3 inches square, and then begin sponging using Gina K Ocean Mist ink, starting at the edges and working inward. Stamp the script background image from the French Flare stamp set from Gina K Designs using Ocean Mist ink. Stamp the flourish image using Gina K Black Onyx ink in the lower left corner and upper right. Add highlights to the flourishes using an opaque white gel pen. Next, stamp the large butterfly image, also from the French Flair stamp set, onto white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Begin coloring using Copic Marker V06. Use this color primarily at the base of the wings and along some of the veins. Switch to Copic Marker V04 and continue coloring. Switch to marker V12 and continue coloring, filling in most of the remaining areas, maybe just leaving a few little highlighted areas uncolored. Next, use a colored pencil, in this case I'm using a Prismacolor Violet pencil, and use it to go over the darker areas. Next, switch to Prismacolor Parma Violet and continue coloring, and you'll want to blend into the darker areas with using a little higher pressure, and then ease up on the pressure as you work toward the outside of the wings.
After coloring, use scissors to cut out the image and don't worry about trimming around the antenna. Just cut those off. We'll stamp them in later. I also created two small butterflies, also from the French Flare stamp set, which I colored the same way. Now I'm positioning them about where I'd like to have them on my background so that I'll know where to stamp the image to get those antenna. I didn't get a very good impression of the large butterfly, but that's okay because the antenna part came out just fine and I'm going to be covering up the rest of the butterfly. Now since the upper butterfly will be actually partially off the top of the cardstock, I'm not going to stamp that one yet. Use craft glue to adhere the large butterfly and one of the smaller butterflies onto your background. For this next step, I'm positioning my background with a piece of black onyx cardstock behind it onto a prepared four and a quarter by five and a half inch white card base, and then putting that third butterfly about where I'd like it, so I know where to stamp it so the antenna will show up. Then go ahead and stamp that butterfly using black onyx ink. Adhere your image layer to the piece of black onyx cardstock and then adhere both layers to your card base. Then use craft glue to adhere that third butterfly. Stamp the sentiment onto your card base using Gina K Black Onyx ink. And the sentiment I'm using is from a stamp set called Scripty Sayings from Gina K. And that completes today's video. Thanks for watching.